one more present for Alexi. This is yours. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Chris. I'm a graphic designer based in Melbourne. And as of recently, Christmas has just passed. I surprised my brother with a canvas, a vector art portrait of himself, in which he asked for last year for his birthday, but I was too busy. I never got around to it. He thought I forgot about him, uh, which is why I want to prove to him that I didn't. And I want to surprise him this year for Christmas with exactly what he wanted. So the first thing that I did was basically create the outlines, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Alrighty, so the first thing that I basically did was outline this photo here. Uh, I didn't know which direction I wanted to take this. I didn't have much time at all, and so I didn't wanna make a vector art of it, but this happened basically when I got to this point. All right, guys, so it's currently uh, the 18th of the 12th. I've got about three more days to make this artwork. Uh, and this is how far I got into it before I actually been caught out. It's kind of concerning because I know for a fact that he saw it. He just, he just walked in behind me and I turned around and I was like, shit, close the tabs. And then he was like, uh, and pretended not to see it. Like, we're not dumb here. I know he knows I'm up to something and I know that it's definitely on his mind. And I've been trying to think of a way to kind of like work around it. I think the best way to go about it is to show him what I've done, but just tell him that it's just a test run and I'm planning on making him one for his birthday in like April next year. And just lower his hopes a little bit. And I actually thought it might be a good idea to record his, uh, reaction to that so i'm going to bring him in now show him what i've done and uh let you guys see his reaction but yeah plan is still a go i'm gonna put toner in it if possible starts. by the way alexi look what i've started making more testing oh it's the photo for the airplane look what i started Ooh. testing for you yeah it's just a tester i'm not gonna finish it you anytime soon birthday session? yeah it'll probably be birthday next year yeah, I'll probably get it done then. But it's just, just, just to see what it looks like. But yeah, that's probably all I'll do on it anymore. You like it? Yeah, yeah coming along. So yeah, basically he found out uh, very early on, which was a bit disappointing because I wanted to make it a complete secret. But uh, that's right, I think I played it off uh, pretty cool. I basically started off from there with uh, just coloring it in, I guess. And um, I started thinking, I was like, how am I gonna do this in such a short amount of time? Creating my normal vector arts, it just wouldn't have been feasible. However, I decided to take an approach of, as you can see, this geometric kind of pattern design. It's, it's called low poly vector art. Uh, I actually started uh, learning Illustrator by uh, doing low poly vector art. And so it was very refreshing to actually come back to this style and create something uh, you know that I hadn't kind of created in a very long time. Um, as you can see, the colors are actually quite faded. I was an idiot and uh, was tracing over a photo in which was about 80% transparent. Um, I only realized that at the end, but you know what? I actually kind of like how it looks a bit. Um, it looks like it's got some kind of white yeah, transparency filter over the top of it. So um, I wasn't too fussed about that. Uh, the actual photo that I'm tracing looks like this. So as you can see, um, he's kind of peeking through uh, one side um, of, or it's an aeroplane, uh, the aeroplane window and the uh, chair itself. So I had to figure out a way to make those two other sections something. Now I didn't record uh, that part, but you will see the outcome very soon. All right, sweet. So I basically finished the artwork. I'll show you that now. Um, I spent all night working on it uh, last night and all day the day before just to make sure that I had it done before the 21st to 22nd, which is basically today. But as I'm going to a mate's farm party this weekend down the coast, I wouldn't have had access to my computer, which means no screen recording, uh, no content. 
this video and I wouldn't have been able to submit it either. So I'm now going to um, send Canvas Print Studio, who are my uh, Canvas printers, an email with the artwork. Uh, they're going to have it done by the 25th. I'm going to wrap it. And yeah, we'll uh, see where it goes from there. Fantastic. Oh, look, can I come in? Oh, good. Uh, it's the one of my, my little brother, little boy. It's like a vector art portrait. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you know, you kind of mix the process, unfortunately, to leave. No, that's alright, no worries. Fantastic, look at that. That's unbelievable. That's a perfect size as well. Wow. That's good. Fantastic. I'm actually really, really happy with that, to be honest. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was, I just wanted to make sure that there was like no little gaps when creating it. Sometimes when I was actually making the um, the artwork, there was like a few little holes and you could see the background in it, but I made sure I tidied all of that up. And um, as you can see, there's like nothing, nothing that you can see through. So no, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate Anytime. that. Anytime, mate. Very nice to see you. I am very happy with that outcome. It looks, it looks unbelievable. I do remember uh, when I was creating it, I was actually, I was really silly because I left the photo that I was tracing uh, a little bit transparent, uh, which meant, and I didn't realize until the very end, uh, and that basically meant that the uh, image came out just a little bit, like a little bit faded in comparison to what the colors were actually, like how vibrant they were, but, uh, Nonetheless, I think it actually looks really nice because the surrounding colors are just as vibrant. Um, and yeah, overall, I'm super happy with it. I think Alexi's gonna love it. So I will put it under the Christmas tree tomorrow or tonight and we'll see his reaction tomorrow. Yay, thank you. I got my own charger, finally. Two, 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 Wow! And the pods? Yeah. Yeah, the pods. We have one before. Yeah, we're back on the floor. Thank you. Aww. 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 That's awesome. Oh, that's good. My phone. Oh, oh. oh my god, it's powerful. The time has come. Uh, we're out of presents, so I thought I might as well come and grab his. Yeah. I've got one more present for Alexi. This is yours. So tell them the story about the portrait that you were meant to get for your birthday. Explain it. Um, so I thought it was really cool if you made something because he's really good at like making things. So I asked for that, um, but I didn't get it. Um, 
So still waiting on a birthday present. Do you think that I've forgotten about it? Yeah, obviously you put some work into it, effort. It looks really good. You happy? Good yeah. Christmas? Thank you. Thank you.